Aloha, I'm Karen Clark, your first energy traveling reporter. And no, unfortunately, I'm not in Hawaii, but we'll get to that later. Are you ready for this year's first healthy living challenge? That's right. It's going to be fun. It's going to keep us moving. And it's also going to give you an opportunity to give back to your annual Harvest for Hunger campaign. That's right. You can get fit while giving back. I caught up with Jennifer Cumming from Human Resources and Tori Tolson from Community Involvement to talk about their partnership for this new challenge. I'm really excited to talk about this challenge because it's a really unique opportunity to bring together healthy living and Harvest for Hunger. So this challenge is unique because all participants are working collectively to combine steps towards a common goal, which is donating to Harvest for Hunger. Uh, it's a Hawaii theme challenge. So we will all work together to step across the five most populated islands of Hawaii. And the First Energy Foundation will be donating $25,000 for each stage that we achieve, um, up to $100,000 to Harvest for Hunger. Um, the commitment to exercise will not only help, you know, our mental well-being, uh, but will improve our health overall. And it will also, with this challenge, put food on the table for many families across the communities we serve. So we're very happy to uh, partner with the uh, Healthy Living Challenge uh, with Harvest for Hunger in this unique uh, time in our country right now. How do employees get started, whether they're doing it individually or as a team? Can you tell us um, how that process works? Of course. Um, so all employees are eligible to participate in the Healthy Living Program and in this challenge. Uh, spouses and domestic partners that are on a First Energy uh, health care plan or a union-sponsored health care plan are also eligible to join the Healthy Living Program and participate in this challenge. Is there a set goal this year for this year's campaign? I know in years past there has been, obviously our environment's a little bit different this year, um, but what is that goal and you know, what are some other ways that employees can contribute beyond this year's challenge? Well, even though the campaign is virtual, we have still set an aggressive goal for ourselves. So our corporate goal is 2 million meals. Um, so full participation in the Healthy Living Challenge alone will account for 700,000 meals toward our campaign. So that's getting us a large part of the way. Uh, but daily, we're going to use our Harvest for Hunger SharePoint site uh, to add activities. Uh, we're, we have a calendar there where employees can look uh, to see what activities are going on. So we're excited about, you know, the opportunities that a virtual campaign gives us. Uh, employees can also give through the new First Energy Community Impact Portal. What is the website? Is it an app? Uh, where can they find that information? Along with everything else you just talked about, where is all of that housed? So there's both. There's a website and an app. Um, for the website, it's First Energy Healthy Living website. Um, and then for the uh, app, it's through Version Pulse, which can be found in the App Store. All of this information is located on My First Rewards um, and also on the website and the app. You know, why, especially this year, is it important for employees to participate in this challenge and help give back to their local food banks? One simple thing, Karen, hunger has not let up through this pandemic. Uh, in fact, uh, the argument can be made that it's actually worsened. 78 percent of families that have visited food banks this year are first timers. And many of us are one disaster away from being in that line ourselves. Uh, the food banks across our territory hope to ease difficult decisions between buying groceries and paying rent, for instance. 
and uh, but they need our help. And for most of the food banks, um, the this is the largest campaign that supports the distribution for the entire year. Thanks, Jennifer and Tori. What a great way to stay fit while also giving back to our local food banks. Remember everyone, sign up. You have the entire month of March to get this completed. And you know what? Feel free to sport a grass skirt or a colorful leg. Nobody will judge. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you soon.